hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is evidence in today's video i am going to show you how to split your data into train test and validation data set so to begin we are going to load the data so here i already have the url that has the data so i went ahead and imported the data and we are going to go ahead and import pandas as pd Shift enter runs the cell that you're currently in and create a new cell below it. And this is when you're working in Google Colab. So first we are going to read um, the data set. So we are just going to call it data frame equals pd.read csv. And we are going to we want to read URL. And let's do df.head. So right here, we can see a preview of our data frame. So let's find out how big our data frame is. So we can do length of DF. As you can see, our data frame is about 9,000 rows. So in this case, if you are working on a project and you want to split your data into train, test, and validation data set the easiest way to do it is using scikit learn so before i show you how to actually do it i'm going to show you the scikit learn documentation so you can see it yourself so this is the scikit learn documentation from here you can see that you can specify the test size and if you don't specify the test size the default is 25% of the data set. You can specify um, the train size. And then you can specify random states. Random states basically just means that every time you run this code, the same data will end up in the training data set and the same data will end up in the test data set. And basically this is used to control variety so basically if somebody else runs this code in the future and you want them to get the exact same results that you had you may want to implement a random state and then this stratify method i always find it very difficult to explain what stratify means even though i know what it means but i found a stack overflow that explains it really good so let's go ahead and read it together so basically the stratify parameter will preserve the proportion target as an original data set in the train and test data set as well. So if your original data set data frame has a target level as 0, 1, 2 in the ratio, say 40, 30, and 20, that is for every 100 data sets, you can find 40, 30, and 30 observations of target 0, 1, and 2 respectively. So basically when you use um, the stratify parameter it might be like stratify to a particular series so it might say something like use monthly premium auto um to do the stratification and basically everything will be split in proportion to the number of classes in monthly premium auto that's just one example so you can specify that if you really need to like if you want your data to reflect a certain column in your data frame, you can specify that column using Stratify. So with a basic introduction of this, let's go ahead and use the scikit-learn trend test split to split our data. So let's begin by doing from sklearn dot model selection import train if you are working offline if you are working outside of google collab you will have to import sklearn first you may even have to install sklearn in your library first but since we are using google collab i can just go ahead and import it because i know sklearn is already in google collab so to Split your data, you simply do train test is equal to 
join test plate and then parentheses the first thing you specify is a data frame so you specify the data frame then you can say something like the train um, the test size is equal to 0 0.15 so basically in this situation I am saying that I want 15% of this data to be the test size and I want the other 85% to be the training and in this case I'm just gonna input a random state this is not necessary you can put it if you want but just know that this is not necessary so if I go ahead and run this code and then do length of train you can see that our training data set now has 7000 um, rows and if i do length of test you can see that our test data frame now has a thousand rows so now you just have to now you have two data frames a training data set and a test data set so you can do train.head and see that you have a train data set and you can do test.head and this is your test data set now if you want to add in a validation data set what you can do is you can split the training data set again so you can do something like train let's call it train2 comma validation is equal to train test split and in this case what I want to split is the training data set that I had that I just got and let's do let's specify the test size and maybe specify a random state again and let's go ahead and execute this now if we do length of train 2 now you can see that our training data set is now 6000 rows and let's do length of validation you can see that our validation data set is about a thousand rows right here and then we can do length of the test data set you can see that our test data set is about um, 1300 rows so basically to get your training your test and your validation data set you just split the original data set using train test split to get your trainer and test set and if you want to add in a validation data set you can split your training data set again and here if i do validation dot head you can see that we have a validation data frame right here when you are doing train test split you can also split your y values the same time you're splitting your x values okay so if let's say y is equal to let's specify our y to be data frame let's see so let's just use cosmo lifetime value as our y data set now if you type in y here you can kind of see that this is our y value so this is our target value right and if we do length of y it will be the same thing as the length of the data frame and if you do length of data frame so if you want to get your x test s train your y train your y test all at the same time you can do so so if we go ahead and drop customer lifetime value from this data frame and let's just say x is equal to df dot drop and columns is equal to customer lifetime value and we can do something like x dot head and you can see that um customer lifetime value is gone from our x data set right so here was customer lifetime value next to state now we don't have customer lifetime value next to state so if we have our x data frame and your y data frame and you want to split both of them at the same time you can also do so with 
scikit learn trend test split and to implement this to split your x data frame and your y data frame at the same time using scikit to learn trend test split it's actually very simple so it's actually we're doing x train then x test then y train then y test is equal to train train test split and then you specify the x data frame and then the y data frame and then you specify the test size if you want to you don't if you don't have to specify a test size if you don't specify a text size it will default to 25 percent but let's just put 15 percent as the test size and then you can put in the random state if you want to this is not necessary and you can put in stratify if you want to but in this case i do not want to stratify it to any particular column so i'm going to delete this and let's just get and run this and see what the results are now if we do x train dot head you see that we have an x train in data frame and we can do something like length of s train we can do um, length of y train you can see that our x train and our y train is um, the same size the same length and we can do length of s test and you can do length of y test as you can see right here our y test and our s test is the same length and we can do something like y and kind of also get a preview of let me see no y um, test and we can do something like um, y train and get a preview of what our data set looks like so that's basically it for this video and just to recap i got the data frame the url that has our data set i imported pandas as pd I read the data frame and got a preview of the data frame here. And then I imported scikit-learn model selection. And from that, I imported trend test split. And I used um, trend test split to split the data frame into a training data set and a test data set. And, and then I did the same thing again to split our data into training data set and validation data set. And then here I showed you how to split your X data frame and your Y data frame at the same time. That's basically it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you did not like this video, please give it a double thumbs down. And you can visit me online at evidencen.com. That's my primary website. And also here you have you see my blog post, evidencen.com. And to get this notebook and any other resource that I use in my YouTube videos, you can go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free. And here I have my notebook and other resources. So I do a lot of tutorials and I have a lot of resources from my YouTube channel and from my blog and i put all my resources on the one page and you can find everything that all the resources that i use here at machine learning education.com slash free if you have any questions leave it for me in the comment section and thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next video bye